What's up guys, welcome to today's video. So guess what, today what we're gonna be cutting is a fundamental haircut. We're gonna cut a square, one length haircut. One length haircuts are not only popular, but they're also a great exercise for bettering your haircutting skills. So hope you guys liked the video, let's get started. Oh, and if you haven't signed up for FSE On Demand yet, you have to go sign up. It's fseondemand.com. All of these videos that I'm creating go on there first. So you're actually hearing about this video later than everybody else on there. It's over 7,000 hairdressers on there already. So go to fseondemand.com, create an account, it's free. All the videos are free, everything on there is free. You can't even purchase anything on FSE On Demand. And once you have your account, you can download the FSE On Demand app and you can see all these different videos from all these different artists uh, on there. We've got video collections on there. So much cool stuff that's getting uploaded every single day. So go check it out, fseondemand.com. All right, here's the video. What's up guys, welcome to today's video. So what we're gonna be focusing on in this video is uh, basic haircutting. So this is a, a one length square haircut. Uh, the reason I wanted to do this video, it's not that it's the most exciting haircut, but I think the process of getting to the end result is exciting and it's also a great um, exercise for you to do to really work on your uh, sectioning, the cleanliness of your sectioning, um, your precision cutting, working with little tension. Um, there's multiple things in this haircut that can make you a better hair cutter. So um, let's not focus on the end result as much, even though it's gonna be a nice one length long bob, uh, which is a pretty popular haircut nowadays, but um, just really focusing on being clean uh, when you work. So. The sectioning is pretty simple. Go straight down the center, uh, center parting, straight down center back. And then I'm gonna draw a vertical line right at the division point, which separates the front and the back of the head right down to the ear. So that gives me four quadrants. The four quadrants are a basic beauty school haircut. So um, I section that off and then I go from the occipital bone, which is right where my comb is right there, over to behind the ear and that's going to section off my first panel that I'm going to be cutting at the very bottom. So one thing I want you to notice is my sectioning. I'm keeping everything nice and tight and clean and out of the way. That's just going to give me the most consistent end result. So now as I get into the cutting part, um, I'm working from the occipital bone down and I'm working with comb tension. Now, the reason I'm working with comb tension is because a lot of times people put thing, put the hair in their fingers and they'll hold it super tight and they'll cut their line and it bounces back. Like a lot of people talk about calyx in the back or density in the back. Um, how do they get the best line? Well, what you're gonna do is use comb tension, cut your line, don't pull the hair from where it wants to live naturally, and once you have that line cut and you get your entire haircut done, then you go in and you cut it dry and you really define the line, which I'll show you guys later. But from occipital bone down, I use comb tension. Then as the head starts to peel away, um, I don't, I no longer have to worry about elevation. And by saying that, I mean from occipital bone down, if I put my fingers in the hair, not only do I have to worry about pulling the hair too tight, but I'm also elevating the hair a slight bit. So if you're trying to get that nice clean one length feel to the haircut or a nice sharp line, then you don't wanna elevate the hair at all. Now, as I work from occipital bone up, then the head shape starts to peel away so I can still keep that true zero degree feel um, by slightly elevating the hair. So I don't have to worry about having my fingers in there. It also becomes a lot easier to cut it and it doesn't make the hair feel like such kind of dead weight just hanging over because it's not passing over too many corners, which we've talked about in past videos. Um, so as I'm going through, I'm still using the wide teeth of the comb. Um, I section my hair through and now, we're talking about a one length square haircut. Now what makes this haircut square is I cut a nice straight line by over directing the hair all back to this one line and I cut it straight. What that's gonna do is start to push a little bit of weight into the corner right behind the ear. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this an, another straight line as I work on the side of the head and that's gonna really connect the two lines and make the square shape. So uh, what I was told a long time ago when I, when I really started to learn precision haircutting is when you're working with square or any kind of shape, you're basically looking down onto the head. So if you were standing on top of it, uh, standing above the head, looking down on it, what does the outline perimeter shape look like? 
if it's square, you're gonna have that line coming across the back, you're gonna have a line coming across the sides, and that makes the square shape. If you're working triangularly, um, everything's being overdirected back to the center, and it's pushing that weight to the front. So you start to see that triangle kind of starting to appear in the outline. It has nothing to do with the layering, the graduation, any of that stuff uh, throughout the haircut. So um, I'm continuing through. I'm keeping that slight bit of elevation, keeping everything in my fingers as I work, and um, then I'll go through and I'll cut my outline later. But notice my over direction. Now, this is the biggest thing that people, I think, I'm not going to say fail on, but um, the biggest discovery that they make as they're cutting hair is they take the corner away. So they start to create almost like a round shape because they follow the head shape around. Now, square is not for everybody, but if you're trying to really create a strong foundation in that square look, then you got to make sure that you don't round that corner. So notice I bring the hair down and then everything comes back to me in that line. See my over direction as I kind of pull it back? I'm pulling it back because I'm keeping that line um, straight in the back. So that is the key thing. Definitely focus on that. Um, and cutting these basic shapes, guys, um, is the foundation of every haircut that you're ever going to do in the salon. So for me, uh, learning these basic shapes is the best exercise that you can do. You don't have to get all fancy on your mannequin head. Just go through and really cut these basic shapes. Learn your partings, your sectioning, your elevation, um, your tension, all that stuff can happen on a mannequin head. And then as you, you know, get into the salon and you have guests and you're working with different hair types, then you know, uh, the fundamentals, the mechanics, everything that you need, um, to have success in the salon. You don't have to be afraid. You don't have to worry about what texture or what density comes in. So that you can see that bold straight line in the back. Now, as I go through here, I can really decide, um, for a square haircut, I'm gonna go through and cut a straight line. If I want to now go triangular, I could just keep over directing everything back to that line and extend that line into the front, kind of push it uh, a little bit longer in the front. Round, I would just follow the round of the head. But because we're cutting square, I'm keeping these square lines, I'm bringing everything down, and I'm gonna cut from that corner where we push that weight, I'm gonna cut a straight line across. Now again, not using um, tension until I get a little bit further up. And sometimes because of the density on the side of the head, uh, and in this case, in this haircut, um, for the majority of the, the time, I'm using just comb tension, combing it down. And sometimes like that, not using any tension at all, just letting it live free. But now as the head starts to curve away and we get above the eye, um, the eyebrow, that head shape pushes away, so I need to control the hair a little bit. So I do light tension in my fingers, still not totally elevating the hair, but lifting it slightly because the head shape is peeling away. It gives me a little bit more freedom to elevate a little bit, and then I go through and I cut my line. So you can see combing the hair, making sure I'm really consistent. A lot of people are like, well, why would you comb that many times? The reason you comb that many times is because um, the hair, you have to make sure that every single piece of hair is coming down, especially in a one length haircut. You want to make sure all that hair is consistently combed down because if it's not and you cut it and then you go to recomb it, you're going to have those long hairs coming through. If you've ever had a haircut or cut a haircut and at the end you see long straggly hairs sticking out, it's because you or your hairdresser didn't comb consistently enough and get the hair down. So they, it's not that they missed the hair. They cut their line, but then as they comb the hair down, more hair got detangled and it's longer than the, the line that they cut. So we're finishing up, just going through same exact thing on this side. That's the other thing about the square cut and cutting a foundational cut is it's very balanced um, throughout. So both sides, the back, everything is the same, um, but it really puts off a nice shape. And like I said at the beginning, this is a pretty popular haircut. So a lot of people are wearing a bob this long. Um, the reason I cut a little bit longer is I'm going to do a series of these videos. I'm going to cut a graduation in the next one. Um, also using Paul Mitchell Super Skinny Serum to blow dry and flat wrap. Uh, this just helps blow dry the hair faster. It's a serum, um, makes the hair really shiny, silky, and I wanted that for my end result. So. This is going to be a series, guys, so I'm going to go through and I'm going to cut a graduated bob on her as well. Um, so I wanted to show you guys multiple different things, triangular looks, uh, really just get back into the fundamentals because that's what haircutting is all about. It's putting the pieces together. It's 
you know, the one thing that you look at when you watch a haircutting video or whatever you're watching, like all of the haircuts that everybody does comes from these fundamental cuts. So um, it's really important to know it. It's important to practice it. Get a mannequin and practice through. Um, I flat wrapped the hair around the head and made sure I didn't have any part lines in there. And then I went through with uh, the Paul Mitchell Neuro Iron and just smoothed it out and got it ready for this part of the cut. So now this is the detail work. Um, I go through with the, just the tip of my scissor and I cut my, my outline. Um, and a lot of people try to get that outline right away in the wet cut. And the, the most important thing is to just do your cut, do your foundational cut. And then in the dry cut, go through and do your outline. So I use uh, Paul Mitchell Invisible Wear. It's a new uh, undone texture spray. Just spray that on, just give me a little bit of hold. But you can see the corners that build up in that square haircut. That's what's cool, you see the shape kind of unfold. And then now I use the texture spray to really build in some texture and expand the shape. Um, but you can see kind of how it builds up at the bottom. That's what the one length feel uh, gives it. So hope you guys like this video. Um, definitely check out all the videos that we have to offer on FSE On Demand. Hope you guys are enjoying it and I'll see you guys on the next video. Thanks.